What goes on, guys? We're back here again with you. Another review. And we're taking a look at something super weird that it was just like a... Uh, like, a, I don't even know, like a sporadic buy. We're taking a look at the Arch Archie McPhee Bigfoot action figure. Uh, I saw this on Toy Shiz's story, and I was like, yeah. Sorry, I just had it. I just had an event at work, and I lost my voice. But uh, So we're going to bear through this. Here is the back of the box. Bigfoot looking all Bigfooty. Here's a nice little read up there that if my voice wasn't as bad as it is, I would read to you. Here's the side. Bottom barcode. I don't know who's going to be carrying this. I got it on Amazon for $13. So, uh, yeah. With my voice sounding terrible, let's go ahead and take a closer look. So, getting Sasquatch out of the packaging. I didn't think much of this figure to begin with, but it's kind of even less than I thought it was going to be, to be completely honest with you. So, this is probably going to be a pretty quick review. There's no accessories, and my voice is pretty shot, so... I think I'm just going to run through this as quick as possible, but taking a look at the head sculpt, it's pretty ugly, and I'm okay with that. I think Bigfoot's supposed to be ugly. Uh, I may may paint his eyes white, um, just because I think that will look a little bit cooler. Um, there's some art on the back of the box that I do enjoy, uh, so maybe I'll paint them more like that. Um, and then the body has a general sculpt that's a little soft, but... Eh, you know, it's doable. The arms, there's a nice paint wash over it, which is nice. And I was worried that it would feel like super cheap. It doesn't. Like, it feels solid, I guess. But, eh. Um, the sculpt is okay. Like I said, the paint is okay. It's just got, like, a nice wash over it. There's a little bit of paint. <sighs> there we go. We got a uh, nice hand paint on there. I think it would have been nice if they painted the bottom of the feet. Uh, but they did paint the top of the toes. So... I mean, it gets the job done. It's not, I'm not like super like, it would have been cool if this was like super articulated, like ankle pivot, ball joints at the hips, hinges at the shoulders. Um, but unfortunately, it's just not that. Um, taking a look at articulation, no head. Each shoulders are gonna swivel. You have a single jointed hinge at the elbow that just basically goes from straight to 90. Waist swivel that stops like halfway on each side. The leg will just swivel so you can get Bigfoot like doing that, whatever that is. Swivel, single jointed knee, and then the ankle goes up, down, and that's it. So basically, you get him in Bigfoot pose. That's it. But like even that, I don't know because he doesn't swivel his head. So like, I don't know. I think a swivel at the head would have been better. And then a hinge at the hand. Yeah, I think that would have been appropriate. But, yeah. He's pretty pre-posed, so, like, that's, like, as straight up as you can get him. Uh, here he is next to a Marvel Legend. Um, here he is next to Zombie Cap. So, he's about the same size as Zombie Cap. So, about the right size for 6-inch scale. And then here he is next to McFarlane Batman. So, a little bit small. But, uh... And then here he is next to Silly Kong, which... I think, now that I'm thinking about it, do a little bit of paint work on a Kong, give him a different head and different feet. He would make a good, like a good Bigfoot. Mm, maybe I'm getting some ideas here, but yeah, no, he's pretty small compared to these. So yeah, like I said, there's not really much to talk about with this guy. I was just shooting for like a five minute review, especially with my voice being like this. Just kind of wanted to get him out of the box and on the shelf. Um... But yeah, you know, there's not really much else to say. He's cheap. I got him for $13 on Amazon. So that's pretty good. The paint is okay. The sculpt is okay. The articulation is pretty poop. And I think he's a little small. They advertised him as a 7-inch scale figure. But there's no way he's 7 inches tall. Because he's like basically the same size as Zombie Cap. And Zombie Cap is only 6 inches tall. So I don't know. But at the price point of $13... I'm going to go ahead and give this figure a rating of 7 out of 10. I think for the price point, it's okay. I think ball joints at the hips, a hinge at the wrist, swivel at the head, and hinge at the shoulders. That just would have done it. You know, I don't need like a crunch, giant ball joint at the head. Like literally just one of these at the head would have been nice. And I, I hate swivel hips. Just bad. But anyway, 
I believe that's all I got for today. So if you have not already, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I have a lot of fun over there when my voice isn't fucked up. So I'm sure you will too. But as always, let me know. You copping? Picking this guy up? Let me know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.